You about to leave, I see you. Are you married? I'm not. You're not? Hey, are you not, are you dealing with anybody before you leave? I'm gonna hit something right before both of y'all. Are y'all dealing with anybody? You got a, a, a man, right? You got a, you got a woman? Give me Hebrews 13. This is something that guess what, can fix our community. This is another thing that we break in, that's what we in the body. So I want you to pay attention, especially is the man you deal with, the father? No. No? Even more important. The book of Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 4. You know. Marriage is honorable in all. Marriage. God is about marriage. Because when he made Adam and he got Eve out of his rib, you read about marriage. He didn't say, hey Adam, data, if you don't like, I'll take another rib. We'll see what's up. It ain't happening, right? So in the bed under file. So my sister, whoever you're dealing with. You need to hold off and make sure he's a godly man. The scripture said, whoever you're going to be, make sure it's somebody that's going to guide you correctly in the word of God. Right. That's going to treat you right, teach you correctly, and teach your daughter correctly. Right? That's right. right? Not to hold you around, because when y'all sleeping around outside of marriage, he just he just playing around. Y'all playing house. Right. You're a grown woman with a daughter. That's serious. That's right. So he got to be like, listen, right. you want to marry me? Well, I don't know. Call me when you're ready. That's right. You understand? So if you love God, you're going to on a, uh, finish it off. Hold on. Before you finish but it off. whoremongers sleeping outside of marriage, that's whoremongering. Right. Really? And adulterers, when you commit an adultery when you're married, God will judge. And God is going to judge us. Right. Unfortunately, you being a single mother, I don't know your situation, but those type of things, every single power, parent household, that's a curse. What you read in Deuteronomy 28. Right. Because right. we're supposed to be a unit. Not. Hey, 50 50, you could do everything you know on your own. No, God said, gather ourselves together. We got conquered and destroyed together, and the Lord's gonna de deliver us together, not the woman and the man on his own, together. So, sis, I implore you, we got videos, we got a school nearby, and a website. Learn, teach your daughter, show your mother, and whoever your family, okay? And the time is short. Thank you. I got you. Because you was, I uh, know you asked earlier, I did not forget. How do you know? Because um, you said you don't know your father, and that's another curse. A lot of times, because everything that happened to us, sometimes our fathers leave or they die, so on and so forth. Many things we don't know our father. Right. But watch this. The book of Romans, chapter 8, and verse 16. Yeah. The spirit itself bears witness with our spirit. Now, the spirit, could, the scripture says this Bible is spiritual. Whatever's written, the history is spiritual. So if this, when we hear it and we read it, if, if, read that part again. The spirit itself. Bear it witness with our spirit. What it's saying is that when we hear it and we read it, you be like, hold on. This sounds like this pertains to me. Right. When you read like these curses, we went on slave ship, that's in the Bible. Our children being sold, us losing the nationality, you start realizing, like, hold on. That's that's me right there. That's my forefathers. If that pertains to you, when you start bearing witness what God's bring out, that we are the children of God. That's gonna be like, okay, cool, because sometimes. As time went on, we forgot who we are. That's why I said, what would, when, what would your father be considered? That's why a lot of time when you hear us out here, we won't be like so-called blacks, so-called Hispanic, and so-called Native Americans. We know all those are titles. Right. Those are all titles. That's why I'm saying when we come out here and if we have an idea who our father is, we go through our best of ability, like Genesis 49 would tell us who we come from. Like the American black to be the tribe of Judah, the same tribe as Christ, David, uh, Benjamin, the West Indians would be Benjamin. St. Paul, right? He came from that. Levi would be the Haitians. What's that? Moses, right? So on and so forth. So we start teaching what our nationality, showing who we are, our purpose. That God just didn't create us just to create us and do your thing. He created us what to follow him. You know what I'm saying? Before he leave, I wanted to... Have you ever heard that question in movies and all that? What's, what's the reason of life? What's the point of life? You know this, right? Give me that in uh, Ecclesiastes. It's a reason we created. We're not here to bust up behind nine to five or whatever schedule it is for a little misery, money. First of all, that money don't even got our, our people face on it. Right. That's how you Bring know we destroyed and we still in slavery because we still bust up behind for their money, which we're gonna give it back to them anyway. Right. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12 and verse 13. Yeah. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Because now he's about to tell us why, why God created us here. What's your purpose? I wanna make sure before you leave here, what is your purpose? Why the Lord made you? Fear God. So you got to fear him. When you fear somebody, you respect them. You love them. You obey them. And keep his commandments. Keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. This is the reason he made us. 
there's no reason he made us. Right. Like, uh, is there any more? No. Like keeping the Sabbath. Like today's the Sabbath. You heard about the Sabbath yeah. before, right? Like you know about today's the Sabbath? Yeah. Right. You know how to keep it? How to obey that? Yeah. Ever heard about that before? Because yeah. a lot of time in Christianity, for the most part, they celebrate Sunday, correct? Yeah, yeah. But what does the Bible say? Yeah. Keep the Sabbath, which is what day? Yeah. Saturday, right? That already, that already tells you right there in your mind. These, these Christianities corrupt. Right. It's not yeah. about the Bible. They may hold the Bible, but they're about a whole different doctrine. Right. Give me that um, Exodus. I want to. I'm gonna hit you. Cause I know you're trying. To, I know you're leaving, but I'm, I'm at least. I'm trying to hit you with something at least, like a little seed. So hopefully it grows. So when you leave, continue to study. The book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Yeah. Remember the Sabbath day. So we gotta remember it. As it comes, we cannot forget it. To keep it holy. Keep it separate. Holy is when you make something separate. You make it special. Six days shall thou labor. Right? Sunday to Friday, you got all those days to, you know, bust it behind. Do whatever you got to do. And do all thy work. But, uh, and all thy work, right? But the seventh day. Hey, how y'all doing, brethren? The Sabbath day, Saturday. Is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Sabbath of the Lord, the rest of the Heavenly Father. Because you read in Genesis, he hallowed that day what, from the beginning. Of the Lord. Not of me, not of man, not of pastor, whoever. And it, thou shalt not do any work. So we're not supposed to be working. A lot of us work on Saturday. We got a, some of our brothers and sisters work on Saturday, right? But we don't know no better or the condition that we are because of the job. Thou, know thy son. So yes, you, your kids, know thy daughter. Anybody in your family, right? Thy main servant, uh -huh. thy maid servant, uh -huh. nor the guy, thy cattle, uh -huh. nor the stranger that is within thy gates. For in, this, in six days the Lord made heaven. So I said nobody in your family household, the Israelite household is supposed to break it. Right. Even the other nations are not supposed to get, but we they're not gonna the scripture said we're gonna enforce that in the in the in the kingdom. Yeah. But everybody's supposed to keep it, especially us, because he picked us and gave us the commandment. Give me your mind real quick. Because I saw you you just came out of there, right? Okay, cool. So I'm about to show you that according to the scriptures, we're not supposed to buy or sell on this day. We got all those six days to handle our business. This day, he wants you like, yo, focus on me, focus on the scripture, and on your, on, on us. Gather together and praise the Lord. The book of Nehemiah is the ten of verse thirty-one. Yeah. And if the people of the land bring wear or any victual, so if they bring, you know, uh, stuff, clothing, any materials, food, right? On the Sabbath day to sell. On the Sabbath day to sell. That we would not buy of it. But on the Sabbath day. On the Sabbath day. Or on the holy day. So any high holy day, right? Those days are 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 put aside to what? To remember what the Lord did to us, to praise him of everything he did. Like the Passover is what? It's the remembrance and the praising of him taking out us out of Egypt. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.